The Kentucky primary is next Tuesday, but some Kentucky voters are already heading to the polls. The early voting period is underway in the Commonwealth. From your local election headquarters, Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is in Owensboro with the latest. In and out of the Owensboro Sports Center and other places that serve as voting centers for this month's primary. And this is the first day of the three day early voting period and the first time this format is being used here in the Commonwealth. It did well. It was quick and easy and not too crowded. It was quick and easy. Some early voters at the Sports Center say they took the early voting option to avoid potential crowds. Others did it because they can't make it next week. I like it because it gives me more opportunity. Early voting is rather unique for Kentucky. This year's early voting period is the first after lawmakers approved changes to Kentucky law allowing for early voting without an excuse. Kentucky voters had the option of a longer early voting period in 2020, which was put in place due to the pandemic. Prior to that, no excuse early voting was not an option in Kentucky. A lot of the time, systems like this, I feel like, won't change until they have a good reason to and I think the pandemic probably showed them that there's a more efficient way. <laughs> a spokesperson with the Kentucky Secretary of State's office says early estimates show about 215,000 Kentuckians will vote early this primary. State and Davis County election officials say no major problems at polls were reported on day one. Some early voters we talked with say they didn't have any specific races they were focused on this time and we're just glad they could vote. To cast my vote on all of them, you know. At least now I can gripe. The early voting period wraps up this Saturday, and the primary is next Tuesday, May 17th. From your local election headquarters in Owensboro, my pick at Eyewitness News.